Good afternoon, I'm Oliver Contreras and I'm going to discuss with you something about modified starch. With particular example is, my particular example is uh, gel pro starch, modified tapioca starch. So what exactly is modified starch? Um, let's start with native starch. Native starch is your typical starch that you buy cheap, let's say uh, 40 pesos from the markets. They are, they are native, meaning they are not changed from its original format, which means you need to, uh, in order for it to be hydrated, you need to cook it um, 8, 9, 10, 15 minutes in order for it to gelatinize and for the starch to hydrate and to form a gel. Unlike modified starch, you uh, uh, to make a, to make a, to make a quick explanation out of it. You uh, you uh, add water to your starch. You cook it up until it gels, and then you take away the water again. You pulverize and you you dry up and you pulverize it again. Out comes your modified starch. Your your modified starch is enzymatically changed native starch or chemically changed native starch so modified starch you just subjected to to uh, to high heat or high, to steam or to high temperature of water and it will gel uh, instantly or immediately it's like uh, it's like your instant gravies uh, that you find in, in in the wet markets and it is typical of your uh, of the sauces, food service sauces that you find in the market. This uh, tomato ketchup would have um, modified starch in it. Okay? It's the same with sweet chili sauce of UFC. It also has modified starch in it and it's being used as a stabilizer. What do you mean by a stabilizer? Yeah. This oyster sauce is also using modified starch. A stabilizer meaning, if you were to put native starch or gao gao in your, uh, in your sauces, you cook it up for 8-10 minutes up until it gelatinizes. But, but it's, uh, it's only good for say a day or up until the day, only during the day of cooking. It will... Uh, it will break down if uh, it's subjected to, to uh, fluctuations in temperature. Once you put it in the fridge, your, uh, your, your sauce or your, say, your uh, sweet sour sauce of vinegar, uh, pineapple juice, and soy sauce and starch. Once you cook it up, you store it in the fridge, it will most probably uh, break down overnight. Whereas as uh, modified starch, it is very stable. Stabilizer means the liquid or the semi, semi-solid product that you have, it will stay put like that. It will suspend the particles of your uh, chili flakes, of your garlic and onion inside the mixture or inside the suspension. So that's how it is. It's, uh, it is very good to, to uh, utilize modified starch because it will, you will lessen the incidences that your product will be undercooked once you're probably steaming your embotido or your shomai. Let's see, even, even Pacific meat shomai is uh, making use of uh, modified starch, even Nikeni. Even McKinney is using modified starch in uh, their picnic hot dogs. Starch is uh, E1405. So that's modified starch. So uh, modified starch is used in all kinds of cooked, um, cooked uh, meat products as long as they're not excluding the ones that are canned because uh, it is useless to use uh, modified starch in 
in uh, canned foods like meat loaves because uh, you can make use of the cheaper of the cheaper starches because it will undergo a long and very high um, heat treatment already so given um, steamed products like embutido shomai or smoked sausages more so the smoked sausages that are thicker or that are used in the 3840 casing or the bigger collagen casing you are uh, getting rid of the possibilities that your products will be undercooked and and it will be much much faster the cooking time of your products i i uh, because if you're using a mdm chicken mdm chicken it only needs to rise up internal temperature to 80 degrees centigrade and it's already done and cooked and safe already for consumption it doesn't need uh, chicken doesn't need to be cooked for an hour under uh, under steam so you are actually uh, cooking the starch uh, for much much longer time because uh, chicken need only be cooked for five or ten minutes granted uh, enough steam or enough heat is supplied by your cooking equipment um, uh, embutido or uh, shomai need not be cooked for 30 minutes or one hour if you have enough steam uh, it can be cooked for 20 minutes 30 minutes max okay because it's already let's say this is uh, I've, I've had, I have here a modified starch and some hot water. Well, well, it needs to be, uh, it needs to be uh, boiling actually in order to thicken. So it didn't, it didn't uh, gelatinize with, uh, with warm water. So it, Given boiling water, it will gelatinize fully, like, like your, uh, like your, uh, uh, like your kids' uh, paste, uh, school paste that uh, used for art classes. So there you go, modified starch. It instantly gelatinizes, given boiling water. Just, you just need to incorporate it in the dry ingredient thoroughly in order for it not to clump together not to not to be lumpy together but then again uh, granted that uh, enough steam or enough hot water is in contact with uh, the modified starch it will immediately gel so given given your mdm uh, it only needs cooking 10 minutes 10 15 minutes and then modified starch during that time it should it should be able it should it should cook through already it should gelatinize the only problem is that if you have thicker sausages so it needs the the steam or the heat needs to penetrate through uh through the thick sausage okay give it another 15 minutes so it's it's a little bit hard to to think about overcooking uh, processed meat products more so they are chicken based and knowing and knowing that you could stir fry chicken for five ten minutes and as i told you modified starch need only have contact with boiling water and it's gelatinized but yeah you 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 need to add a couple more minutes on top of the cooking time of the chicken on top of the cooking time of the starch in order to fully to fully incorporate all of the for it to fully develop the the texture including uh, the glutens the tbps and the flowers or what have you all of the extenders and the fillers so it needs to uh, form fully and then and then it'll be good it'll be good and it will be firm it won't be watery it will be uh, it will be nice it will be uh, will have perfect texture so using modified starch is reducing your cooking time so your, your energy costs and you will have faster turnover of products 
So instead of uh, doing one batch of embotido every hour, you will have two batches of embotidos every two hours. And yeah, that's basically doubling your capacity of your uh, production. So that is more than enough uh, compensation, more than enough compensation for the extra additional costing for you to use the modified starch. So there you go. Um, it's, uh, it's, uh, you, you need not worry using modified starch because 